my name is AJ Pruitt and I am the author of the Anna Thalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I am going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting, and it puts it all in one video so I will link that video below um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video this video and series will be in a playlist but I will also link that long video below so if you um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet you can find what you want in that longer video and you can always ask questions in the comments of course okay so this video is about the page numbers and the front matter so the front matter is the title page Okay, so my front matter is not formatted, so it doesn't look right. But the title page is title page with all the information, copyright page, table of contents, dedication page. I just have placeholders right now. Um, but we're just going to do the page numbers in the front matter. So you want to get it at the same height um, on the page as in the rest of the book. And I talked about that in the page number video. You want to get it the same font. Um... You want to get it the same font type and font size. I talked about how to do that in the other video. And my manuscript was still linked. And so I had chapter one and the little bar said over here, it said link to previous. And so when I put my page numbers, number two, number three, it linked it to my front matter. And so it was putting number two, three, four in my front matter. And so I started deleting them and it started deleting it in the actual book part. And you don't want that. So make sure you go to the section after your front matter and unlink your section. I talk about how to do that in the other video. Um, and I'll put the link below to those other videos that I talk about how to unlink your section. The best sections, excuse me. And so after you unlink your sections, there is not typically page numbers in the front matter. Um, and so just get rid of them. Just delete them. <laughs> get rid of them. So there are never page numbers on the title pages. Never t it makes sure that your title pages right here do not have page numbers. Don't put them on there. But sometimes people want to put page numbers on the copyright page, table of contents, um, dedication page. And so if you want to do that, you will go to the footer or wherever. You can put your page numbers in the header. Um, I don't think in the front matter you want them at the top. I never have seen that. But I'm putting mine at the bottom because that's typical for a book. So click on your footer. Let's go up so you can see the page I'm working on. I have put it on my copyright page and I'm, I may not keep it because you don't have to have a page number there. Um, but go to insert, go to page number, go to bottom of page, plain number one. And it's going to put number three right here because it says, oh, this is the one, two, third page. Um, but you want to go to format page numbers. And since you're in your front matter, you want Roman numerals, lowercase Roman numerals. I guess you can do uppercase Roman numerals. Does it give you that option? Yes, it does give you the option of uppercase. Um, mostly I see lowercase Roman numerals though. And you want to tell it to start at, and this is um, page three, so you're going to type three little I's for three and say okay. And it will put three little eyes right there. Um, and since your sections, I have unlinked all my sections. I have made every page of my front matter a different section. And so it said, okay, 
this is the section and I put a number three in this section. If you want to put <clears throat> those page numbers in like three consecutive pages, say the copyright page, table of contents, dedication page, then you want to link just those three sections to each other and make sure this pages before are not linked to it. Make sure the pages after it, like your actual chapter pages are not linked to it. And it should, it should put like three, four, and then on the dedication page, which is right here, five. It should put that like you want. And it made it Calibri, which I hate, and so I'm going to make it match the rest of my book. Times New Roman, nine font, um, and there you go. You've got your um, front matter page numbers, and that's how to do that. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments or anything like that, please do put them in the comments. Again, my front matter's not done up here, so um, don't go by this of what to put in your front matter. But that's how to do the page numbers of Roman numerals in your front matter. Okay, so a side note. Um, if you cannot get the linked pages to put the page numbers in correctly in your front matter, just forget it, okay? Um, I've never gotten it to work. I've never gotten them to link together and put all the Roman numerals in there like it's supposed to. I unlink each page in my front matter and just manually type in the Roman numerals on each page. Um, and that works fine. Just unlink everything in the front matter and type in because it's like three pages at the most. Usually you have to manually type in. Just go back and once you do that, make sure everything is the same height or the placement make sure it's the right placement make sure it's the same font make sure it's the same font type and font size um and just check it and look at it and make sure it's all okay and it's the right page number because if you do it manually it's not going to number it for you you have to actually like, go back and count your pages and make sure okay this is actually page five um and definitely go back and make sure after you actually put in your front matter that everything is still correct because sometimes it can move things around even like the up and down or whatever so um that's what I usually end up doing and I make it look fine it's the long way around so if you can get the other way to work do the other way but if you can't just do it manually remember this is part of a series please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting and there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below Always ask questions if you want to ask questions. This is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting, so please ask questions. Let's help each other. Um, please comment this, comment, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too. And thank you very much for watching. Bye. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anathalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anathalian is. The website is hapruitt.com.